Peanut butter pie. <laughs> Peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. Are you broken? Peanut butter pie. <laughs> I have been dreaming about this all day. This is like an Oreo lover's dream. And peanut butter, because I'm a big Reese's guy. I like Reese's peanut butter cups and I like Oreos. I feel like this is the perfect combination. This Oreo crust is buttery, it's amazing. And then the center is this like creamy, soft, moussey yeah. type peanut butter thing. And then a drizzle of chocolate ganache. Doesn't get much better than that. I see a bunch of Oreos in a food processor. Yes, yeah, so. What are we doing? We have a package of Oreos, just okay. a regular standard package of Oreos in a food processor. There's 36 Oreos in here. This is the crust. Yeah, so we're gonna start working on the crust first. We're gonna work from the bottom to the top of our pie. Makes sense. So you just want to put them all in a food processor. You can do this by hand and crush them yourself in like a big plastic bag, but <laughs> if you have a food processor, it's a lot easier. So we're just gonna can pulse I, can this. I pulse it? Pulse it until it's a crumb. Oh my God. When you pulse it, see like the top lifts to the bottom. Uh, this kind of just spins it around. I got it. So. So you just want to do that until it's a fine crumb. That was violent. Uh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> wow, this is. <laughs> <laughs> when I did this the first time, there were Oreos everywhere because the top popped off, so. Look at this. It was a wild experience. Look at how beautiful though. It is beautiful, isn't it? Wow. It's the perfect <gasps> crumb. So, mm. now that we have just the Oreos in here, what you wanna do is you can, so I like to just do this right in here so you don't have to you know, transfer it to another bowl. You can if you want, but mm -hmm. that's more dishes. Okay. So just kinda take that plate out, put it on the counter, and then uh, add that butter. melted butter. So we have some melted butter, unsalted. Okay. And you just want to pour it and try to not get it in the center hole. <laughs> That's the trick of the trade. And what just the makes this butter, in? Yeah, the melted butter is going to create the crust. Mm. And when you pack it in your pie plate, it's gonna come together even more. Wow. Wow, it's getting thicker. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So go ahead and pop that right in your in? pie plate. Look at what you did. I'm sorry. You are bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure you get all that extra okay. stuff. You really want to get all of it, especially because we ate such a oh massive god. pile of Oreos. That is absolutely naughty. And then, yeah, what you can <laughs> the do. Mess we made. Okay, so you can use like the the bottom of a a cup measure or a quarter cup measure just to kind of press it in. But honestly, what I find is the easiest is, look at that spoon, by the way. It's calling your name. Mm. Is to just take your hands and to press it in with your hands because there's no easier way and there's no better way to kind of make sure that it's an even layer. So you want to push the crumbs up to kind of the side too. Yeah, that's nice. Get in there. Sure. Massage it. That looks pretty good. It smells so good. So our pie crust is complete. We're just going to pop this in the freezer for about 15 minutes or so while we're making the peanut butter filling. And that way our pie crust will set and be nice and firm when we put the filling in. Okay. All right, we cleaned up a little bit here. <laughs> It was bad. So we gotta do this peanut butter filling, my dear heart. Please, the best. And this is the hardest part not to just eat with a spoon. So we have peanut butter. Mm. This is the base for our peanut butter Creamy? pie filling. Creamy peanut butter? Maybe, uh, I was gonna have uh, you do this, no. but that sounds very dangerous. Should we take this on? Yeah, that would be probably for the best. Okay, so we're gonna add our peanut butter right to a mixer, stand mixer. You can also use a hand mixer if you only have a hand mixer, but it is easier with a stand mixer. Can you use crunchy peanut butter? I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because 
If it's crunchy, we're gonna be creaming it with the butter and so it's not gonna cream properly. You okay. probably could fold in some peanuts if you wanted a little bit more texture in your filling though. Fold okay. them in at the end. Deal. And then I have some butter. Real butter. Butter. No peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop that in with the peanut butter. The butter is softened, so the two are going to cream together, which basically just means nice and whipped mm. and just fluffy and creamy. Would you like a shot of vanilla extract? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put this in? Oh, yes. Sorry, you like yanked it away from me. No! No, but no, no, no I'm nope. doing it. Let me do it. Nope. Splish, splash. Okay. So that's gonna add a little bit more flavor. And then I add a pinch of salt. I think the salt makes this filling just so, so good. You, I, I do like the saltiness of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little, just extra something. So I need my paddle attachment. Paddle's the best for creaming. <laughs> so we're just going to pop this on and we're gonna turn this on medium speed until it's completely Oops. smooth and creamy. I just turned the mixer Look more. at that. So I'm just gonna take a spatula and just scrape down the sides quick, just to make sure that all of our butter is combined mm. with our peanut butter. I wish I was in there. Me too. That was naughty. Butter and peanut butter. Can I get I mean, butter? Sandwich time. <laughs> so, last ingredient for our filling is a little bit of confectioner's sugar. <laughs> yes, aka powdered sugar. <laughs> and this is just going to make our filling nice and like more fluffy and mm -hmm. airy and light. So the best way to do this is to turn your mixer on low and keep it on low so and add up. the sugar slowly. And when you add the sugar slowly, it's really going to kind of whip the the inside, the the peanut butter, and make it nice and airy. Okay. Let's see how you do this. So I'm not the man for this job. Yeah, so I'm low here. With that, we're going to add the sugar slowly. Now why are you doing this again? Riff all at once? sugar nice and slowly so that way the all the ingredients really whip together and it's nice and airy and fluffy if you dump it in it's not going to be the same texture it's going to be a little bit more dense now tell me you're gonna work out after this tell me you're gonna work out I'm trying it a uh, clean spoon uh, okay okay <laughs> yes my love thank you I get the whole spoon right no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just had fear. Oh, that was such a tiny little bite. Who are you? Mm. What are we doing with this? It's time to transfer all this goodness mm. into our pie crust. So we're gonna go get that from the freezer. Okay. Man. Does this go I keep in there? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Where do I keep going? Man. Man, <laughs> man meat. <laughs> You need to pour this in there. You can okay. kind of scoop it, you know? Okay. Scoop it in. scoop a -roo. Just like that. Wow. And we'll spread it around once it's all in there, but just get it all in, and then you just kind of spread it around with your spatula. Awesome. I can spread. Yeah, then you just kind of spread. Again, try not to get it on the sides of the pie. Just stay in the middle. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And make it nice and even. And kind of do like a circular motion, just like that. This so honestly, you could beautiful. stop there, couldn't you? Can we? I mean, you can stop there and not even <laughs> add chocolate ganache, but if you want to take it to the next level, Fine. chocolate ganache it. So we're going to do a little chocolate ganache drizzle. Okay. What is ganache exactly? Ganache is basically chocolate with heavy cream mixed together, and it's this. Why are you looking at me? You're beautiful. Like this? Sorry. You're scaring me. Chocolate and heavy cream? Chocolate and heavy cream. Uh, we're going to be adding a little butter to it and a little vanilla just to give it a little extra mm. something, something. Okay. So we're going to take our chocolate chips 
And I have a little pad of butter here and the butter is going to make our ganache a little bit glossy. So I'm just gonna add that tiny little bit of butter right in with my chocolate chips. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave in increments of like 30 seconds or so until it's completely melted. You wanna stir it every 30 seconds. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. So this is just that chocolate and a little butter mixed together. Now you're gonna add warm. cream to that? Yeah, so I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract to it. Oh. And a little bit of, or it's actually quite a bit, of heavy <laughs> cream to it. Can I stir? And go ahead and stir. And it's gonna look like a little bit too uh, creamy at first, but okay. as you keep going, it's going to really combine together and you're gonna get this nice, just kind of melted chocolate, heavy cream, beautiful mixture. Mm. It's turning. It's turning. The change is happening. Yay! So we need to let this chocolate solidify a little bit so we can drizzle it and it won't just kind of smear over the top of our pie. Okay. So we're gonna pop this in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes along with our pie. Let both harden up a little bit and then we'll work on our drizzle. Sounds great. Let's go to the fridge. Wow. So our chocolate has solidified. It's kind of a nice thick texture now, mm. and that's the perfect texture to be able to drizzle this on our pie. So yeah, if you so try, try to do this, like look, it's a little That's hard. Oh, you're wonky. gonna pipe it? So I'm going to pipe it, but you can do it at home really easily with just a plastic bag. So, uh oh, wow. this is dangerous. So I'm just going to pop all my chocolate now you want to just open that bag for me? Yeah, there you go. Okay. You're going to pop all that chocolate right into your bag, just like so. And then you want to seal your bag shut. And you just want to get all that chocolate on one side. Okay. So you can kind of squeeze it into Fun. the corner. Little pipette. Just like this. And then you're just going to take scissors and you just wanna snip the very end, just the tiny, tiny, tiniest little <laughs> tip off the end. The tinier the tip that you cut off the end, the tinier your little drizzle will be. If you do it bigger, it's gonna be a bit bigger drizzle. Makes sense. So I'll do one and then you can do- You're a little cake artist? Oh yeah. Let's see it. So you just squeeze out Ooh. the chocolate. Just oh like my this. God. And you can do a pretty decoration. It's okay if it, you know, comes out a little bit messy. But then you can go the opposite way. Fun. Just like this. Just like that. And then we're going to put this whole thing in the fridge for at least an hour. Oh, wow. And the reason why I say an hour is if you try to cut it before then, the inside's just gonna kinda cave mm, in. It needs to solidify it. it's gonna it. be really, really gooey. I mean, it's delicious. But if you want it to be more of a pie that you yeah. can cut, it needs to be in the fridge for at least an hour. Okay. So, it's time to wait. <laughs> Let's go. Why'd you change? You kept me waiting long enough. I shower, clean myself up a bit. You smell like perfume. Like flowers. <laughs> but really what I can smell is this because I've been waiting too long for this pie. You going for crust or non-crust? Uh, I'm going towards the frontal part first. Can I go from there? Cheers. Yes, cheers. Mm. Oh my God. How do we not skip dinner? This is a dream. And just eat this pie? I'm, the I think I have to is so like soft and peanut buttery, like intensely oh peanut buttery. Chris, this is bad for me to end mm. this now. I'm chewing. It's time to check it out. On tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. I see a bunch of Oreos in a food processor. I think I oh. already have a fix of sweets. <laughs> what? I think I've already been consumed by the sweetness. What are you talking about? <laughs> look at my look at my alfalfa.
What are you wearing? That's enough. No. <gasps> no. Show the camera. Mm. Painting he... shorts. Okay. 